Hey everybody, this is Drew the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we just got home over $10,000 worth of coins. We're gonna be going through each uh, coin and what we guessed, but also uh, what it came back as. And uh, yeah, but let's get this video started. Okay, so. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about some coins, how they how they did at CAC, and our projections to begin with. And a lot of this really for you, if you're watching and you're wanting to send coins to CAC, is taking a look at each series individually and deciding which ones you did good at and which ones you did bad at, right? So we sent in some Indians, we sent in some gold, we sent in some uh, barbers, we also sent in some buffaloes, and all of those will be talked about in this video. And at the end, we'll just give you guys a synopsis of what we need to improve on in terms of developing our eye and what we need to, you know, what we're doing pretty good at. And basically it's just a type of, type of quality check for us. So in the future when we send coins in, we know what to look for on the things we mess up on and we know what to look for on the things that we're good at sending the CAC. So let me show you guys some coins. Uh, we hope you enjoy them. Alrighty, first up, we're gonna start on the bottom here with some gold, and I'm gonna pick them up and just talk about them individually, and my guess is on the top of every, every coin, just so you guys know. My guess on this coin was that it would be a C coin. It means it wouldn't sticker. It's just not nice for the grade, um, and a lot of that has to do with just the hairlines that were on the obverse, a few kind of spots on the rim here, and if we flipped it over, uh, there's a spot, uh, there's kind of a few spots that are really bothering me about this coin, so, uh, there also is a few hairlines that you normally see with 61s and 62s and 60s and this one is a MS61 $3 gold and so let me reveal this one to you guys real quick so this one uh, is an 1878 and it's it's the $3 gold and a great MS61 from PCGS but it did not receive a CAC sticker just because a lot of the things on the coin just didn't make it desirable for me in terms in terms of my opinion of CAC and if they would like it and so Pretty neat coin, either way. Uh, nice coin to pick up, and it is still pretty rare to find those, and so uh, I hope uh, the guy that we sent it in for is, is okay with that. Up next is one of the buffaloes that we sent in. Uh, I thought this one was a green bean for sure. Just nice color on the coin, decent strike, but there was some weakness in kind of that, you can kind of see it right there. It's a little bit of weakness on the, on the face, kind of on the cheek, and it's almost like a flatness, as you can see. And so that was my major uh, hang up on this coin and still has some nice color. We sent in about four of these and uh, we were hoping at least one with gold cac. When we flip, when we take this one off, we guess with green bean and uh, yeah, it didn't green bean, but that's okay. Uh, we just wanted to test and see what would happen with it. And uh, you know, it is what it is. All about learning, all about understanding. Uh, up next is another uh, 1938D Buffalo nickel. This one has a little bit more of a stronger strike Decent color as well, still on the coin. Um, you know, you don't see that weakness kind of in, uh, you know, in the cheek as much, which is something that, you know, it's just giving us a tell that if you see any kind of weakness there, you really should hold back from CAC. And so, taking a look at this coin, I think everything really just meets well in terms of expectations. And we guessed it was a green sticker. And let's just check it out real quick. So, this one did green also. I think it's just a strong coin overall, and I'm happy it did green sticker. I think uh, you know one of these, like I said, we wanted a gold sticker, but just a lot of them were really nice and were offered to us at a great price. And sometimes it's just something about learning and understanding, you know, the series that you're in, like we were talking about earlier. This is the 1859 uh, Indian head set. The thing I didn't like about this coin too much is just the kind of the color or what's kind of been happening to the surfaces of the coin. It's just something that wasn't too attractive to me to begin with, and so that was my initial thought on the no sticker, and so. You know, you can kind of just see the surfaces are just uneven. A lot of them are just not appealing to me. And so you're going to see a different AU58 in this video that did well, than, did better than this one. But this one, they did agree with me. It was going to be a no sticker. Here's one that uh, is I also was kind of pessimistic on. This is a 1883cc dimple. And as you can see, there's a lot of haze in the fields. There's a lot of things that just make this coin unattractive. I was pretty harsh on these coins when I was looking at them, but uh, as you're going to see in this video, I was not harsh enough. And so, when you flip over the coin, 
has the same kind of story on it. Just, I don't know, there's a lot of haze in the fields. People people take off for that a lot. And so, uh, it's still a pretty coin, but this one also did not cack. Okay, so I was really excited about these organs. So we got a lot of uh, coins in from our friend named Alan. And I took a look through like five or six organs. And these two, the one right here and the one right here, really looked really nice. And so... When I take a look at the surfaces, I don't see any major scratches or dings or issues. And, you know, when I when I look at the coin overall, I just think it's really nice. There are a few spots on the coin, uh, just some underlying toning. And that bit may be enough to hold it back from just getting a gold sticker. And that's kind of what happened in this case. When you take a look at this 38S, it did get that, uh, well, it did get that uh, green sticker, but it did not get the gold, sadly. We did fall short on this one in terms of it being exceeded, but... I mean, overall, the coin is really nice. Maybe we just got to watch for those toning spots and, uh, you know, try to find something that will go gold next time. But it is what it is. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like. Uh, it would mean a lot to us. I wanted to show these coins off to you because we really do like uh, just determining how CAC works and we hope you uh, benefit from it. Subscribe if you're new because we have new videos coming out every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But... Let's get back to the coins. Up next is another gold that we were uh, sending in for a friend of ours. Nice rich gold color on the obverse. A few kind of underlying hairlines in the coin, which really kind of took away from my perspective of the coin. You can tell that's a no sticker, which was my guess. And then when we take a look at this coin on the back, there's a little spot here between the United States, and that really was just the thing, the nail in the coffin for me. Couldn't really uh, bring this coin uh, to a green sticker in my opinion before sending it off and then now that we got it on we uh, yeah it didn't it didn't green sticker and that was just my opinion on it I you know I'm not trying to say I'm glad that it didn't green sticker but I just thought that was the original you know the original intent of showing you guys all these just so when you run into coins at shows some you'll see that'll be like wow that my green sticker or gold sticker and some just won't and that is an example of one that won't Still a nice coin, you know, there's still a lot of coins that I would even keep, um, you know, even though they didn't sticker. So here's another uh, 36S, I believe, Oregon. When you're taking a look at this coin, this one also has a few spots, but overall the surfaces are untouched. Just really nice coin. I, I really wish this one was a gold sticker. I guessed it was a gold sticker to begin with. And uh, there are a few spots you can see right by 36. Maybe that's the main issue on the coin, or it may have been dipped in the past. Really not too sure, but uh, yeah, I guess it was gold sticker. This one did not gold sticker. This one green stickered. And so, you know, it, it's a little sh it's a shame, but uh, like I said, it's really the, your perspective on what's happening. So if you, you know, take a look at all these things and say, well, man, you didn't do good, or man, you didn't get exactly what you wanted, you really got to just tell yourself there's a next time, there's more coins, there's a lot of great things out there that really still need green stickers and gold stickers. Uh, here's another coin that I uh, that I thought would not green bean Just because I mean, I think the obverse is is really nice, but when you flip over the reverse It's got like this black kind of spot there as you can see Anything with to do with environmental damage. They really would stray away from and so I guess no bean and uh, Yeah, it did not bean. Yeah, it did not do well, but like I said, I think the luster in the obverse is really strong, but just that little spot on the back really took away from them, and uh, ah, sorry to hear that on that coin. But next coin, this is uh, another AU58. We were talking about the 1859 earlier, but this one really just has some nice surfaces. Not too many problems on, you know, not too many spots, nothing like that. No old cleaning to what it looks like. And, you know, when you take a look at the coin, just some interesting kind of bluish, reddish color. And, uh... You know, I think it was a nice coin overall. I guess it was a green bean. You can see right behind the, right behind there, this one also did green bean. So, I you know took a guess on this one. I pulled this one out of the safe because I thought, man, this one just looked nice. I think this one with green bean, and it ended up doing so. So, uh, you know, sometimes you're right, and I'm very happy about that one. Next, 38D that we want to show you. This one has a little bit of weakness in the cheek there, but it, I think it's still a beautiful coin. Uh, my, my guess on this coin was it would green bean and uh, let's take a look at the reverse before we show you guys what it did I mean, I thought this one, one was at least a, a green bean because I thought it was a one that would 
just kind of do well for the grade, but when you take a look at the coin, it did not green bean. So maybe that, that really slightness of weakness in the cheek there really took away from just the, the grade that we wanted for this coin, but you know, it is what it is. Trying to stay positive, but also start, trying to learn as well. Here's a really nice gold saint. It's a 1907. And so when you take a look at this coin, it's just, there's some, it feels like there's just a weakness of strike or something on the, right right where uh, the leg is. And that was my kind of uh, issue to begin with on this coin. I didn't think it would sticker, but I think gold really is, uh, sometimes they take it, you know, they take it a little bit easier on gold just because it's a softer metal and a lot has happened to it. But my guess on this coin was no sticker and uh, they ended up stickering this coin. So very happy for uh, the collector that sent this in. Nice little rich gold color also. Happy for that guy. I mean, OGH holder and also have that green sticker. Can't go wrong with that. But here's one of my favorite submission uh, coins. This one is 1893 two and a half gold. And the reason why I submitted this coin is just because I like the coin overall and there uh, there is something about the, the, the numbers on this coin that make it interesting also. I, th I thought this one was a no bean just because it felt like there was a few hairlines in the field, a few little issues that I thought just wouldn't make it excellent for the grade. But in this case, I was wrong on that coin. So happy I was wrong. And the reason why I sent this one in really is because it's a 108. And this is, I think this is the 3,586 3, coin that was uh, submitted to PCGS. And so just a nice, strong, beautiful two and a half gold, also in a rattler holder. Uh, glad we did well on that one. Glad it exceeded expectations. Um, there's some winners and there's some losers. But here is a nice little barber, really dark. And uh, I thought it was just nice and beautiful either way. I thought it would green bean. And the reason why is just because I felt, felt like the surfaces were original enough and uh, just had the eye appeal that I would really like, especially if I was collecting barbers. But in this case, I was wrong about the coin. And so that's just the way it goes. I think what they say about older coins is that you can't be too light and you can't be too dark. And what those mean in specific is you want coins that weren't clean but also weren't left in areas where it's almost on the verge of environmental damage. And so in this case, I felt this one was probably too dark and that's what they thought at CAC. And that's what it ended up happening with it. But it was an AU50 grade, so I thought it would have a better chance. If it was any higher, I thought it wouldn't, just because you still need that really nice underlying luster for the coin. Here's this uh, 1935 Texas. Uh, if we set this one into NGC, we wanted to see if it would sticker. My opinion was no sticker, just because of these spots on the back. As you can see, kind of right in the center there. Just an uh, you know, unattractive spot and I'm not too sure on how to grade Texas's, and so that's kind of my problem with this coin. But that spot for sure really uh, took away from me. And so, now this one uh, did not sticker sadly, but you know, I still think it's a nice coin for someone that's starting off in the commemorative series. And uh, you know, we learned a lot from this coin, and we're gonna be using that knowledge for the future. So we submitted another coin for Trent here that's a barber. This is a uh, uh, 1902. Barber quarter, nice, uh, you know, cartwheel luster, nice little toning on both sides as well. You're gonna see that on the reverse here. I thought the coin was stunning overall, and uh, sticker's kind of falling off here, but you no, know, I, I guess it was a green sticker. And uh, maybe from this video you can't see it too well, but we do have the video where we actually submitted these in the description below, so maybe you could check that out. But this one, uh, it did not sticker sadly, and I'm not too sure why. Maybe there's just a few things that really bothered, uh, you know, really bothered John or somebody else at the, you know, at CAC. And so this one's just super confusing, but I plan to learn on it from the future. Maybe there's just a spot or two on the reverse, but still a nice, beautiful coin. Barber with toning, you can't go wrong. So this one's one of my favorite coins of the submission. This is a 1937D uh, Buffalo Nickel. This one has really nice, strong color. This one was graded MS66 star. I thought of a gold sticker just because of the eye appeal that it has, but also just the problem free surfaces also. I thought it was just beautiful. And uh, I might have got my my hopes uh, too high on this coin because when we take off the sticker, it did green sticker, but it didn't gold sticker. So there might be a few touches 
on the face here or a touch by the, the date that really took away from the grade. Not too sure, but I still think this one should deserve a reconsideration. I think it may still go up a grade or two, but we'll see on that coin. Still a lot to uh, understand about Buffaloes, like I said, in grading. Here is an, a nice little 1936 uh, Buffalo. The reason why I set this one in, it's an AU58 grade, is because I want to get an AU58 plus. And, a lot of, and the reason why is because everyone, there's a lot of people with Everyman sets that like these coins. Uh, they like that, that AU58 plus grade, and they compete for it. And so this coin I thought was a little bit undergraded, and let's see what CAC says. Okay, so uh, this one green beaned, and I'm very happy about that. We'll send this one in for reconsideration so it could fit in someone's Everyman set. There's not currently a 1936 AU58 plus, so this one will be... Uh, contender for sure. The last coin I want to set, show you guys is the best 38D Buffalo that I sent in. This one has really strong luster, also just a very strong strike in my opinion. And uh, you know, I like the color as well, just like the rest of them. But take this sticker off here, and we ended up getting a green bean. So uh, this one I think I guess gold on, and that's a little bit tough to tell exactly, but. Um, you know, I don't think that the reason why this one probably didn't get it is just because uh, it's just almost a coin flip in a lot of ways, and there's just not too many problems that I can see on this coin. So, like I said, sometimes with the coin flip, it's just the way it goes, and uh, you gotta learn from it, keep submitting, keep the heart. But uh, thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Let's cut it to uh, our conclusion. So like I said in the beginning of the video, we talked about what are our strengths and what are our weaknesses in, in terms of series, right? So we did well in certain projections and we did wrong in certain projections. Um, for the Indian head sense, I think we did well. Uh, we, we decided which ones we know wouldn't cack and we, so we knew which ones would cack. And so a lot of those we're, we're starting to get a little bit of rhythm to. Uh, we're starting strong off with gold also because uh, we thought one of them wouldn't cack and then it ended up cacking and uh, I don't know, we were a little bit harsh on those coins but at the end of the day, if they do green sticker, that's good. You want to be harsher on coins than you want to be wishful thinking about coins. So I think we're doing good with gold. We need to work on a little bit with the Buffalo series because uh, you know sometimes their strikes can be a little bit iffy and uh, we don't understand them too much and uh, we also have to work a little bit on the Barber series. The Barber series for us was uh, just kind of tougher because it's a little bit of an older coin and a lot of things could have happened to that coin either with cleaning or if it was just held in a place for a long time and got that really intense kind of dark toning as you saw earlier. And so uh, a little bit with the Kamems is all, also we want to try to find some gold cack Kamems and we only got green beans this episode. So if we can start to get better in terms of looking for toning or looking for kind of PVC or other issues that would hold it back from a gold cack, then we're going to start to do that. But thank you guys for watching this synopsis. Thank you guys for watching this part. And uh, we will cut it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Uh, a lot of great coins were shared today. They'll all be on our website, AkushaCollectibles.com, for you to pick up if you want them a part of your collection. Uh, subscribe if you're new. We got a video coming out Wednesday talking a little bit about the coin show that we had this weekend. A lot of great coins there too. But yeah, we will see you guys in the next video.